Welcome back to the second episode of The Dark Side Detective, where we go on with case two, Tome Alone. Possibly a pun on words? <laughs> case summary. Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have been... He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. Ooh. Okay. Tome Alone. Mm, that's a purple storm. That looks suspicious for sure. Okay. Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No, I have some overdue books to drop back. Holding them out in the rain, like soaking up water. Mm-hmm. Good idea, Dooley. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Ah, oh, come on now, detective. You're hardly gonna arrest the weather. The things he'll try to do to justify this department. Let's get this over with. Okay. These statues make me uncomfortable. They are not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. <laughs> yeah, sure. Before this was the library, it was... Before this was the library, it was where the mayor kept her line collection. Ooh, her. Okay. Alright, that clears that up, so... Okay, that's the same lines again. Let's go in, I guess. Doesn't seem to any be anything outside. Silence. Okay. Fines. For being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Okay. Trying to bribe the library lady. Okay. Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? <laughs> no. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm. And you know the ghosts. Ghosts? What? Okay. What were you saying about ghosts? The place is haunted, you know. The usual stuff. The usual? Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's cha chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame? Here's the only one... He's the only one here often enough, suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or else I call a pair of oddball priests and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. Okay. Um, what's that you're reading? Guylight, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reserve reverse vampire. A reverse vampire? What would that be? Of a what now? A reverse vampire. You can only come out during the day. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her. But the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. Oh no. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds interesting. <laughs> what? It sounds awful, detective. What books did uh, Dooley borrow? He had rules to rave too. <laughs> Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. And the law. What is it and do we really need it? Uh, interesting uh, book choices. Hey, what happened to librarian reader, reader privilege? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you have gave up on the law book? Not enough pictures. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. If you need anything else, I'll be here unless I'm not. Mm, makes sense. A silence. Shh. <laughs> uh, from a certain angle, this looks like silly sideshow clown hair. Uh, it does. It kind of does. Okay, let's go into the office first. 
Office supplies. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half or a lazy approximation of half. You received scissors. Nice. Okay. I got this for Doris last time. I had to get out of paying fees. I'm gonna have to up the ante this time. Yep. Oh, that's the guy light, uh, a guy light calendar. Okay. Computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's hollow, so they can store more books in it. Um, yeah, totally makes sense. Even the lamp is flickering. Okay, photocopier. Um, an old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt. For the records. <laughs> what? Everyone's butt? Just mine, now that I think of it. Okay, that's the price of working out, I guess. Okay, bin. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. Um, you know, for evidence? Okay, we got a button, that, a button now. Okay. Anything else in here? Um, doesn't look like it. Okay. Go back to the lobby and up the elevator. Where's the staircase? <laughs> okay, he doesn't trust the old elevator, I guess. We have none. There was a fire and ironically the fire escape was the only thing that <laughs> was destroyed. <laughs> oh yes, okay. Okay, there's no button. Let's... Yeah, let's put the button on here. No? Okay. <laughs> I thought it might be a good idea. Can we use the sit? No? Okay. Okay, let's go to the second floor. Sci-fi and fiction. Children's section? Sci-fi fantasy. Another plant. What all leaves the plant has? That, that's just a dead tree. Where Doris tries the stockings. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go to sci-fi and fantasy first. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of Ye Darkside Bailiff, Bailiff and his squire Dooley. Uh-huh, sure. He wouldn't be a squire though. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. <laughs> Old library card? Okay. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger, until I found out that they had to go into space. Ah, uh, yeah, that's usual thing. usually a thing. Why is this thing moving? Looks like some of the rocket's al aluminum is coming off. Aluminium. That could be useful. Okay, got a metal strip now. All the stuff. Okay, fantasy. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's look at the fantasy books. Glum Tales of the Sadventurer. Okay, sci-fi books. Fantastic Orbit. Drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this humor. I love it. Okay, let's... Let's go back to the hallway. Uh, and off to the statue. Don't blink. <coughs> is that kind of the whipping angel statues that move when you're not looking? What about this one? The words are short and I, th I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other. Cover? Cover? Oh my god. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range and they are all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Okay. Yep. Floating book. Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's... It's a teddy bear, I guess. Nothing. You look familiar. Have I ar arrested you before? <laughs> Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Okay. Viewmaster. I loved those as a kid. Me too. 
I'll take this and see if I can find a use. It's times like these that I miss walking the beach. Few master, nice. Can I... Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. Okay, I'm sorry. The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Bad baby inside the riot. Okay, so the dinosaur has been moved. Hmm. The vent. There's a cool draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for the kid's self. Robot? I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. <laughs> yep, totally. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on their good side when the ine inevitable happens. I've always loved trains and trams. Not monorails though. Thinking they're better than everyone because they're up in the air. Okay, okay. Why your parents don't love you? <laughs> that's... That's not... Hmm. Okay, little Devon. We've talked to him. Okay, nope. Uh, that's all repeating. Anything else? It doesn't look like it. The vent. Don't know what's why there is an up. Okay, reading room hobby. Okay. Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. Nope, not one word of that is true. Hobby DIY and reading room. Let's go to hobby DIY first. Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags and his deep pockets. Rich enough that he can pay child artists for original works. This guy. Jeez. He looks like he's jumping. You jump too if somebody shoved a pole up your behind. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true as well. Mm, how to do DIY yourself. <laughs> I'm really good at DIY. Get my sister to do it for me. Well, makes sense. Glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Okay. Maybe for the button? To put it on the elevator? Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. <laughs> Turning duct tape into pens, making nethers sustainable. Okay. Okay. Any other thing else? Nip. Let's go into the reading room. Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello. My name's Rexa. I'm here to study the strange going ons. Goings on. <laughs> the strange goings on. Okay, I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Uh, um, sure, that's me, always investigating stuff, on purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. Ooh. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Who doesn't need shark in the 21st century? Most people. A fair point. Can't take any of the sharks, I guess. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Uh, time always seems to stand still in boring places like, li like libraries. Uh, so it's nine. But it's not really, I guess. Okay. Let's go into the microfilm room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Filing cabinets. Why would anyone have so many filing cabinets that... They need a cabinet to store them in. Uh, what? It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilms, I need to find another way to do so. Hmm, it's radiating energy, like Rexa said. I think that may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Let's see what we can find online. You didn't say the magic word. And a password, oh my god. Looks like I need to figure out the password. Um, What could be the password? Hmm. Um, what's wrong with this thing, though? 
<laughs> I probably can. Sorry. Okay, let's go out again. So, ghost hunting, huh, detective? Um, that's classic. Because there is a whole bunch of eerie mumbo jumbo going on here. So, you notice then. I'm majoring in the occult and at TLU. You can do that? I thought all this stuff was banned. Somebody has to catalog and ban it all, detective. Right. It's all fairy, fairly hush hush. So, what does one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science, so I wouldn't be studying two impractical subjects. Good call, Rex. From experience, I can tell you that the occult doesn't pay much. So, can she help us with the. Uh, no? Not with the computer problems, maybe? She? No? No. Okay. Yep, we had this conversation already. So, okay, let's go back. And let's try to put clue on here. No? Not like that? Let's call it plan B. Okay, let's call it plan B. Hmm. Hmm. Fear of the number four. It's quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. But the fourth floor is there, it's just the button is missing. Oh yeah. And we're not in China. You have all the answers, don't you? Mm-hmm. Usually I do. Um Let's go back to the first floor. Your elevator's broken, there's no button for the fourth floor. Yep, I hope you don't want to read any horror books. Well, I would like to be able to go there. Oh well then, sorry I guess. <laughs> Can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need the password for my investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized, so no. What? If you need anything else, I'll be here, unless I'm not. Okay, so she is not really cooperative. Um, metal strip, I mean... Yeah, I thought so. That, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> the computer seems to be broken still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, you don't need to. I get it. Um. What are we missing? Oh, we could use this for the microfilms. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Let's go back to the reading room. Okay, let's try that out. The film's too big, it's a square peg, round hole situation. Well, I've destroyed some historical material. Let's hope there was a point to this. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Spider moths, do it again. Okay, that looks like football to me. Do it again. Sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burned down yet another stadium. Major staff cuts at city library. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. Oh, dooly, 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 dooly. It means very few people work here. Oh, yep, just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Um, what? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Should I note this or should I rely on that the game doesn't want me to remember that? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Okay. I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were original meant to show the dead that walk among us. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I remember the story differently. <laughs> oh, um, hello? 
who are you and how did you get here? I'm that which can never be unseen, the ooze from your nightmares, the knower of the unknown. Right, that's not very helpful if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay then, I'll bite. Tell me, oh knower of the unknown, what's going on here? I uh don't rightly know. Right. But I know that the coward Yeats is protecting it in room. One that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that witch is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the other lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... you know what, I don't even know how to explain this. What was all that again? Yeet, secret room, mad power within. We cool, bro? We're cool. Okay. Uh, still no password, of course. Um, okay. Okay, we're not doing this anymore. And this one doesn't give us any new information, so let's go back. Ooh, yeets. <laughs> Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another? Uh, another spirit, yes. Then, with your question, you... You have answered my own, huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat? The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just wanted... Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Oh... Why are you wearing a few master detective? Oh, um, it's part of the game I'm playing? The game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions. Everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Let's go to a different floor then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we not? Wasn't there... Hmm. I thought there was an option just now to... No. Okay! To go the other way? No? Wasn't there? Okay. Nope, oh, we have another one. Oh, that's the one holding the book. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about the kids... This kid who can see dead people. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Ah, uh, I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch, Rodders, the lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers and DIY fanatics. Horrors, the lot of them. Okay. Yeah, it's still the same. Okay, um... What could we do with that information? Okay. Can you see the ghosts too, kiddo? Ghosts, what nonsense are you filling this head? his head with, detective? I see them, they're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she's only interested in reading the most dark, dreadful books. Tr the most dreadfulest books ever written. Okay. Two of them. Oh, that's why the chess um, pieces moved. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Who was that? Pratchett. Oh, Terry Pratchett. Nice. <laughs> um, I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Adams. I uh, don't think I know Adams. I like these magnetic chess sets. I don't think those pieces are magnetic. Sure. How else would they be moving, detective? Okay. I don't think they will tell us anything else, so... Oops. So... So let's get... I don't think they will tell us anything else, so let's get over here. And further up. Um, we've been to... This one before, let's go to the re... Ooh. Yeats. 
Oh, we had. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. We've talked before. I'm sorry. Oh, Gail. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. I, but not like you toffs, yon toffs with their literally fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and how to, to do your own plumbing. Think you can fix the elevator with the right gear? I could. I, I need a new button, mind. Well, let's give him the button. What's all this for? Could you use this button to fix the elevator? I can, but won't do nothing. Needs to be conductive to make circuit work. Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. No? What? It's conduct- oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I have to combine it first. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see, looks like it'll do the job. Gives us- gives a few minutes to pop in- pop it in place, okay? Gives a few minutes, okay. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. It were fun doing some useful gain. Uh, either my English is totally horrible today or I don't understand a thing what this guy is saying. <laughs> oh look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, never mind. Okay. Hurrah. Looks like he can get to the roof through here. Thankfully it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in that storm. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like how to cook a dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fats. Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bellum. And MMO Accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Nice. Okay. Horror section. Edgar Allan Poe. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. H.P. Lovecraft? <laughs> Only because they cannot fathom the dread. Conjure, Eddie. I conjure, Eddie. You play in common cliches. Your penny dreadful select true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by, by you, charlatan. Fraud, undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah, you're an infuriating man. It kills, okay. Lemons for every meal. Murder. The pain giver. From access to zero oxygen, a murderer's primer. <laughs> the dead person murders, okay. Everyone's guilty. Haunted place. The Quirky Killings, Stepfest 6, The Underwhelmer, They Yearn for Blood. What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was the childish blighted woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would horror borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I care not for this current sight for his current sidegeist. My works are vastly superior. He is being such a child. I'm clearly the creator horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my atheistic horror. Well, your atheistic rubbish. Right, I'll have you made. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You two stop it all I put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it? <laughs> oh, I never! It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait, right here. And not a beep. Peep. Peep. That's what I wanted to say. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. Is there some kind of hidden door somewhere? Candle. These are one hell of an atmosphere fire hazard. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um... <laughs> Cannot glue them together. What a shame. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. I guess we're gonna head down and see what she's up to. Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons? Can I get the key? 
afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> this woman. Um, nothing new in here. Doesn't look like it. The glue and the card. What is the card for though? 